I'm bumping. Oh, my favorite part right here. Yes. They're shady. They're like, they're doing spells. I don't know what, they're burning paper. Wait, are they witches? I can't. Tango? Yes, with this whole tango, this full tango. Hey guys, it's Zach back again with another video and today we're going to be doing the underrated legends experience. So I just made this up. I was on my live stream recently that I had did. Thank you again everybody who came out to my live stream. Um, but we were talking about underrated artists and underrated groups that we think need more appreciation and we uh, just wanted to get out there. I don't know, we just feel like they're not appreciated enough. And we were going through that and with the people on my stream we were just talking and giving some ideas about like who we feel like we're underrated. So I'm gonna watch some videos from some groups that you guys uh, tell me to watch and there's not like an overwhelming demand or hype for these groups yet. Maybe just because they're new, maybe because people just haven't discovered them yet. Just things like that. So we're gonna jump into this underrated legends experience and we are gonna start with the boys video called boy so I have heard a little bit about this group they're from Craker Entertainment and they have a lot of boys in the group I don't know exactly the number but I heard that their debut song was like super awesome and that people are kind of sleeping on them and they're a rookie group that people should definitely be watching out for and we already know the Queens of underrated legends are Luna so we're just gonna leave that there and in 2018 they will not be underrated mark my words but back to the boys I feel like this is a group too kind of like Luna they have like a lot of members they're coming out here and if they're putting out good content I hope that they get discovered by more people and they start to gain some like, traction in 2018 and before we watch it one of you specifically asked me to watch this video from the boys on my new Twitter account that I had made just for my channel so you can like DM me here and ask me to do reactions but Sophia Carson fact she DM'd me and she said hey Zach can you react to the boys debut boy they're amazing and it's a great example of fair distribution for 12 members, which Luna will be and I subscribe to you and I'm also Jen Soul biased. Yes, Jen Soul. Y'all know, I'm not about to start about Jen Soul. Y'all know, y'all know. Um, she said they sing the song called Boy. And I said, yes, I was planning to make one for them, Team Jen Soul, blah, blah, blah. So yes, Sophia Carson, fact, thank you for DMing me and we're gonna watch the boys music video in three, two, one. There's so many. She told me that there's 12, so now I know. Just like Luna. Hmm. It's a number of 12 in 2018. 12 is the magic. Whoa! Look at that little domino. Okay. Very smooth vocals. Very. Oh, I love when they have big groups and they're so synchronized. I love it. I like that note right there. I like that. Whoa. I like that note, yes. That was a nice little contrast. Alright. Who produced this? This is a bop. They are underrated legends. This is a bop. Oh, that guy, that one guy was on Produce 101. Wait. I'm not sure what they're doing in the video, but this song, I'm bumping. Oh, my favorite part right here. Yes.
this type of composition is one of my favorite types of composition. I love fast paced songs like this with soulful or R&B or hip hop ish influence with pop. Shook. Shook. Their vocals are really good. Oh, a drone. I want a drone, but they cost like a thousand dollars, so not today. Mm -mm. I love that domino thing. That domino move. Lit. Whoa. They're about to break their backs. Wait. That ending move, though. Ooh. Yikes. They're going to keep their backs safe. The boys. Wow. I really like that, the boys. Like, yes. I love the name, too. So simple. The boys. All right. I'm here for it. So, yes. This video should have millions of views. It actually has six million. That's a good number. But I feel like... Next year, if they keep rolling at this pace, they will have like 20, 30 million, easy. Like, yes, if they keep going at this pace and if they attract a big enough and unique enough fandom, I feel like the boys are going to be somebody that you guys need to look out for and you need to jump on this wave because they obviously have a really good company that is picking some bop fire songs for them. So I feel like 2017 was just the start and 2018, they're going to take off. So, the next underrated legend that we're gonna go visit is Dreamcatcher. So, a lot of you guys love them, and you said that I need to watch their videos, and specifically, Caroline Kim Panda and Fantasy 2003 and Vincent Lee. You guys all told me that I need to watch Dreamcatcher, so I'm gonna check out Good Night. I picked this one randomly, I like the name, so I'm gonna see if I like it. Let's get started with Good Night in three, two, one. Oh my god, why would I feel like I'm in a horror house? Oh! I feel like this is like Red Velvet's Peekaboo, but a hundred times spook spookier. Oh! Rock? Shook? This isn't pop? Okay. They're a rock group? Oh, this Ooh. I'm shook. Rock? She's really pretty. I usually don't listen to rock, y'all. But we're gonna give them a chance. Because they're talent. I like her hair, whoa. The black to fire, <laughs> fire red. Is she the leader? She's the only one that has colored hair. Hmm. Okay, rap, rap gang. Rap and rock, I've never seen that combo. Oh, I feel like they're shady, shady in the forest, like they killed somebody. Did they kill him? What? This is not a good night. And their fa their company, <laughs> it's called Happy Face. I was not expecting this. It's so cool. What is that stick on the tree? I can't. I can't. Jesus fix it. Yes. I don't know what they're doing. They're shady. They're like 
they're doing spells. I don't know what they're burning paper. Are they witches? I can't. Trapped him in the mirror. I'm thoroughly confused. But Dreamcatcher, um, yes. Like, they're cool. They're cool girls. I did not know that we were about to be getting into some rock today. You guys didn't tell me that. Um, we got some definite heavy metal. And I am not a heavy metal fan at all. I actually, rock is one of my least favorite genres. But you know what? I'm here for it for Dreamcatcher. I'm here for it. They really took it and I feel like they gave it their all with this concept and with the um, rock and with the dark mysterious. I love dark mysterious, so that was good for me. But yeah, the girls were singing really well. Their dances were on point. It looks like they're super seasoned, which is not like, I don't know, like that's not really uh, common for rookie groups. They don't really look seasoned. And then, honestly, the boys looked seasoned too. Like they looked like they they've been doing that for a while. Like they looked like not like rookies. They looked like they're just like, okay, I'm here. We here with the game. Let me just slay it, and I'ma go home. I'm just I'm about to kill this. I'm about to hit this rock on y'all. I'm about to hit this choreo on y'all, and I'ma leave. I'ma go home. I don't even care. Like bye. Like I feel like Dreamcatcher are those girls. Like they are baddies. Like they are just yes. We know we slay and bye. They will just go to a date with you and then just leave. <laughs> they know that they are bad. They know that they can slay. They have confidence. So I like that about Dreamcatcher. This is definitely interesting, and I haven't seen this before. But I feel like Dreamcatcher will rise, and it might not be. In Korea, it might be somewhere internationally first, but I feel like in Korea, like this is so unique for K-pop. I feel like they're definitely gonna set some trends. All right, so let's get to the last video of Underrated Legends, and we're gonna be watching Sanamu's I Knew It. So I guess Sanamu is a group that has been out for a while, but they just really haven't hit their stride, and that's really sad. And I did some reading, and one of their girls is actually on the unit right now. And I hope that she does well and she brings some more attention to Sanamu because I feel like Sanamu really has a lot to give. All right, so let's check out their song, I Knew It, in three, two, one. Are they about to do Dreamcatcher on me and do rock? <laughs> okay, Latin? Okay, Sanamu. I'm getting a Latin vibe, like I'm in Spain. Oh, Sanamu. I just feel bad. Give these girls some views. Give them some love, y'all. Oh, wow. I confused? Yes. Oh my god, this girl in the front. Who is she? Bye. Yes! I live for this. Sanamu, yes. You guys, don't sleep on Sanamu. I'm living. That was so good! They're really giving me Latin fire. They're really giving me Latin flavor. Look at this dance. Yes. Take me there, Sanamu. Take me. So pretty. Rap? Okay, rap. That one girl, I need to find her. That girl that led the dance. Oh, she's right here, hey! Peiji? Okay. She's a rapper? She's not a singer? I like her rap. Low tone rap. Alright. She's my favorite. I really enjoy this, y'all. 
Oh, I can't sleep. I'm confused. Yes. Tango. Yes, with this whole tango, this full tango. Why didn't this blow up? Why? I blame. I'm about to start blaming people because. Like, is their company good? So I'm about to start blaming their promotions because. They needed some good promotion for this. Because this is a bop. Like, why does their girl have to go on the unit? I feel so bad. It's so chill. I love it. Okay, okay, yes. I really like this video, y'all. I am a Sonamu fan. Yes, I love to see that Latin fire, shookness, dance, slay. That girl in the front just, ooh, yes, like Sonamu. I'm here for Sadamu. I'm here. And your girl that's on the unit, y'all better let her win. Y'all better vote for her. Y'all better have her win so she can give some more recognition to Sadamu because they need it. Like, why does this video only have 1 million views? Like, it's great to get to 1 million, but something of this caliber, this need to be, ooh, this need to have way more views than this. And for everybody we touched on today, Dreamcatcher, I feel like they should get more views. The boys and Sonamu, like all of them, they are underrated legends. Like, please come through for these people. Like, please, please, because I need them to do well. All right, that's all we have today for our underrated legends experience, you guys. I'm definitely gonna be doing more of these because there's a lot of underrated legends out here. But if you know an underrated legend, comment down below, tell me who they are. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you guys again so much for watching. I will see you all soon.